Uh, <laughs> I forgot about the falling. Oh, I hate that. Hey, noodle fly. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Why don't you, uh, why don't you come on down? Huh, buddy? Huh? Huh? Why don't you, uh, why don't you come on down, buddy? Huh? Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on down. I won't bite. Come on, bite. Come on. Yeah. Or we can, I can trap you there forever. What the? All right. Uh, I guess you wanted to be eaten. Who am I to not oblige you? Alright. So, I would like to get a squid cicada to nibble on. Let's put this pearl in our stomach. I missed! Damn it, Drecky! Twice you flubbed this. Alright, now I gotta wait for myself to not be exhausted so I can go get that other pearl. Huh! I mucked up. And I, I got. Gourmand is dangerous. He's a dangerous, dangerous entity. Uh. Not sure what happened there. Ah! Woo! Oh, da, 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 da. Hey, Miss Nil, welcome on by. Now we can't fail. We have the gnome power on our side. All right, I need to stop jumping because he will get exhausted. Hold on, give no me a problem. Sip. I appreciate you stopping on by. Oh Ooh. crap! Oh frogs! Oh! Um, oh. oh. delicious frog. I messed it up on the latter half. I hope you have a fantastic eat, Miss Snow. All right. Take these offerings. Alright. Hey guys. The uh, look cat pass it on through, buddy. Scammed. Yep, got scammed. Didn't let you click it? Huh, that's weird. I like how this is usually the tutorial on using the pearls. And I just come in from the opposite direction. I kind of wish I could... M I'm wondering about maybe changing the speed of the scan. I feel like I either need... I feel like I might need to make it a little bit... Either a little bit faster or a little bit slower so I can do shenanigans with it. I don't know. Something I've been thinking about. I've got the... I have this pearl, buddy. Come on. Take it. You can have it. I've got it randomized as far as the angle it comes at me. But, like, the speed is sort of like... I can't make that dynamic. Come on, Squid Cicada, come to me. Come to me, buddy. Oh, I hear a vulture. Hmm. 
Hmm, what if I go up? What is up? Oh, I remember this place. When it wasn't fucked up and destroyed. Alright. Man, this whole area is so fascinating with it being when it was in the past. Hi, Vulture! Don't bother me, Vulture! Go for that squid cicada, Vulture! Go for that squid cicada, Vulture! Leave me alone! Just a second! Ah! Ah! Hey, guys, gals, critters, buddies, friends, comrades, colleagues. What you doing? No, I'm not hiding. I'm just vibing. Actually, I think I see a spear down there. So let me go snag that. Yes. We got ourselves a stabby boy. Good stuff. All right, hopefully they stay gone so I can get through here with my spear. No, 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 no! Go away! Go away! Squid Cicada, come on down! Come on down, buddy! Fine, take my spear. Dicks. How am I on food? Hmm. Alright, that's one, and then I need to get some blue fruit to, um... I see. Just, uh, one of those days. Ah, shit, I thought he was gone! Oh, that's a different one. You son of a bitch! All right, you know what? Third time's the try for getting um, squid cicadas, all right? Third time's the try. Actually, now that I think about it, what if I combine, what if I combined a noodle fly with something? Hmm, I need to keep that in mind. can do it! We can slay the squid cicada and harvest its flesh for our own consumption. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on down. Come on. Come on. Don't you want to bully the slug cat? Huh? Uh, don't you want to bully me? Huh? Huh? Or you just want to, like, collect all the leeches. Alright. That's, uh, that's a choice, too. No, 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 no! Alright, we're safe. Oh, it's not even part of the food quest. Damn. Alright. Well, all that uh, effort for nothing. Noted. Sucks for me. He didn't even give me a full pip. That was only half a pip of food. What the heck? Fucking squid cicadas scamming me. You know, it's kind of nice that these uh, pools of water are no longer acid. Um, on the downside, they're now filled with leeches, but... Much more manageable than, you know, instant death. Let me roll! Yes, yes, yes. Take my spear. I'm my own food. Go ahead and fill up. 
Mountain Dew's not fizzy anymore. Exactly. It lost its carbonation. <laughs> All right, Gourmand, buddy, your booty do be thick, but your mind gotta be bigger. Let's not fall on any scabs. I did not mean to grab your spear, buddy. Ah. <laughs> I just slid. So hard into a wall, I got stunned. <laughs> Just funk. All right, all right. You can do this, Gourmand. You can climb. This little Pete's is going. <laughs> I... Why are you attacking me? What the fuck? Thought we were friends, dude. That's so mean. Okay. Hopefully we don't have vultures this time. Who am I kidding? There's going to be tons of vultures. But hey, at least there's not cyans. Going through this area with cyans, having the uh, trash worms taking all your spears, that was an experience. Fuck! Vulture! Fuck! Alright, I guess we're going to chill over here for a second. Though, I do think cyans are some of the coolest uh, lizards. I just love how they yeet all over the place. Hmm. Oh no, I'm hearing the music! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Um, is that a vulture? I feel like that's a dead vulture. That got got by leeches. Oh no, I'm gonna get- OH NO IT'S STILL ALIVE! HOLY SHIT WHAT THE HELL?! Um, that happened. I hate that. I was like, oh, I wonder if I need to eat a vulture. You know, if it's having me eat lizards, maybe I have to eat a vulture too. And then, and then the vulture is still alive. It has like 50,000 leeches on it. You can say how embarrassing, but maybe they're taking a bath. Maybe. Look at all those leeches on it. I don't think it can fly. <laughs> Like, it's... it's struggling! Oh, it's struggling! Come on! Thing is, is I need to go past it, but... Um... Hmm... There may be a spear over here? No, not with them. No! Brick frack! Alright. If I jump through, I don't know if I can climb up. I feel like I need to go on that pole to advance and climb up the pole and then go left. Alright. I can't wait here forever. Cycle's not gonna last forever. Oh shit! Oh, 
Oh shit! All right, we're not in a uh, good position here. We are stuck between a vulture and a vulture. All right. I was actually trying to land on him so I could maybe kill him. Go, 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 go. Ah, we made it. For varying definitions of made it. All right, we have three leeches on us. I don't like that. So I'm gonna get them to fall off. I'm gonna get them to fall off. Oh, and hey, a vulture makes its appearance. I love that. Just keep on going, Gourmand, and you'll find yourself free from the danger, the danger that follows you through the garbage waste. Oh, and a spear. All right. All right. Everything's coming up Gourmand now. Everything's coming up Gourmand now. Uh, let's not fall. Oh. Do not fall. I'm pretty sure I know what happens if I fall. I think there's like 50,000 leeches down there. I want to get in that pipe. Alright. So I think up there is a scav merchant, which we don't really need. So I'm trying to go left. Ah! Alright, not sure what was happening there, but we'll take it. Fine, take my spear. Oh, and you're gonna take my spear too? All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's that's awesome. That's I, I don't even want the spear. You know what? I hate spears. In fact, um, they're a weapon of cowards. Uh, real men jump onto their enemies and crush them with their mighty girth. Man, I have not been through garbage wastes in a very long time. Have I eaten a grub? I don't think I've eaten a grub. Alright, grub doesn't do anything. Noted. Go away, bubble fruit. No, not my spear! Yeah, we scared him, buddy. Scared him away. I'm not sure what I expected that to do to leeches. But hey, we made it. Um, we're just going to take the shelter right here. I feel like there's another one on the other side of the gate, but just to be sure, we'll just go ahead and take this one. Ooh. Gourmand be stomping them lizards. Oh, it's the Gorbon from the high high rope. Oh, I don't think that lizard is gonna survive. <laughs> massage? Yeah, yeah. Gormand is renowned for his massages. All right. Uh, you will feel all your tension bleeding away as he uh, drop kicks you. Oh, now I remember where we are. Yep. Okay. 
Industrial, my beloved. So, um... Because that mole lizard has been on there forever, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to outskirts, drainage, subterranean. We're going to get our mole lizard. And, um... Yes. That is the plan I'm going with. Go away. Vultures? Oh, that's a pretty vulture. It's like purple. <gasps> Caramel! Buddy! Pal! Friend! Enemy! All right, I know what I'm doing. I think it's, um, I think it's rest and do some explodey spear shenanigans time. But first, those vultures need to fuck off. Unless they want to die. Fuck you. I missed. I was trying to get my spear out of him. No shot. Alright. Let me wait until I'm not exhausted and then I'm gonna fucking spear the shit out of him. Oh shit! Purple one came back. Oh, did you see that snipe? Right in the face! Oh, I think I fucking killed him. He dropped his mask. What's the red one doing, though? What the fuck is going on with these vultures? Is it stuck? I think it was stuck. I think it was stuck on the blue one. Oh, I think I pinned its wing. Like he's throwing javelin at the- yeah. Like, he's- he's pure muscle and he's putting all of himself into it. Alright. It's finally got unstuck, but I need it to go away. Alright. I see laser sights. I see laser sights. The number of vultures is too damn high. I'm kind of surprised vultures are not on the food quest, apparently. Or at least normal vultures. Maybe the game will be a big fuck you and make me get a king vulture. Welcome on by, Papa Toe. Alright, this is dangerous. I could try sneaking up behind this pink. OH SHIT, THERE'S GREEN! I didn't see him. Oh, I didn't see him. Hey, buddy. I almost escaped! Oh, come on, fight over me. Fight over me. Fucking king vultures, man. <laughs> A king vulture spearing another. Alright, that was pretty funny. <clears throat>
All right, at least we know now we don't need to worry about um, vultures for the food quest. I'm kind of annoyed I didn't get a chance to take a bite of the pink because I wanted to see if that would work. Blip. Yeah, yeah, take my spear. Hello, Scav. Um, we have danger music. Dude, why is the Scav hostile to me? I don't understand. I didn't fall on one. In this timeline. What's y'all's problem? What the fuck, guys? Side of the food quest was not long enough. Ah! Jump scared by the caramel. <laughs> oh, man. Got me. Oh, he got me. All right, I would like to make it to my uh, nice, cozy, industrial safe spot. Which I have become very familiar with, although it's really strange going to it from this angle, because I'm so used to going to garbage wastes from a different angle. All right, put that there. Eat our bubble fruit. I just don't get why scavs are so angry with me. We went through the scav hole just fine. Ah. All right, remember, Drekki, there is a caramel. There is a vulture! Silly pinks. I'm out of here. Um... Just oh, use the spear to climb up. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go, buddy. Here we go, buddy. All right, I actually need to go to the left. Uh, hmm. It's my favorite region. Ooh, ooh, that is a tough one. So I've spent the most time in Industrial when I've played um, Survivor originally. Um, but I would say maybe... Um, shit. Maybe... Hmm... Hmm... That is really tough. There's a lot of really cool regions. Definitely not Sky Canopy, because that one hates me. Or Sky Islands. Uh, but Candy Chimney Canopy has also given me troubles pretty often. Oh! Um, uh, not really Outskirts. Definitely not Subterranean. I feel like maybe I got. Ooh, there's a cyan. Ooh, there's a cyan. Ooh, we got cyan. Huh. Like, 
I feel like it can't be industrial. There's gotta be another region that I like more. Shaded? It's... I don't... I would not believe you. It is a very interesting region. But God, oh, those fucking spiders, though. Oh, the spiders. The fact that it is so spooky at night. Um... Farm arrays get disqualified because of the reindeer. Um... I do not have good rapport with the reindeer. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Why don't you, uh, why don't you come on up? No? All right. It might be, it might be industrial by a process of elimination. Because, like, there's a lot of regions that I just disqualify outright. And, like, outskirts is fine. But it being the default place, you know what? And like, I think maybe actually I gotta go with um, the Metropolis from Artificer's campaign. I think actually I gotta make Metropolis number one because it's very unique. It's got a two ways you can go high or low um and it has a variety of interesting things like the thing i really loved about rain world when i was initially playing through it is i love games that have like this environmental storytelling and you can see all this stuff going on in the background and i felt industrial and metropolis are the two best ones or just my imag I've been just let my imagination go unhinged and just seeing and speculating on like all the various things going on in the background. Ooh, what might this have been? Ooh, what could this do? Um, even though we're in a slug cat, this is a like ruins of a civilization. It's very interesting to me to try and think about what the various areas were doing. Like, I know diegetically the gates are a way to separate out the game into regions for loading because coding reason. You can't have everything be a single zone. But I do kind of like trying to square the logic of these various gates segmenting society because we know the ancients built the towers and staff them with the iterators and they built their cities on top of the iterators and the iterators handled like the day-to-day -day. they handled a lot of the processing as biomechanical supercomputers that are sapient and um so the ancients sort of rose above the planet but they still had a lot of things on the planet so like one of the things i've thought about is like the reasons for the gates is that they still had a they were still a fractured society and so they had something equivalent to nation states so those various gates were like the borders and i think each maybe ancient nation ancient society they may have had different slightly different philosophies of some kind and you know, they may have all agreed to work together, and they kind of specialized. So maybe you had a group of ancients which were in the farm arrays, and they focused on agriculture and growing and such. You know, sure, they may have supplied, I presume, a lot of food to many of the ancients. Um, they were still their own entities with their own theories of breaking the cycle, perhaps transcending their existence and so for whatever reason that necessitated needing to control travel in and out of their region hence the gates um but that's just me applying sort of human society organization and like whenever you have a gate like that the first thought is like some sort of border control system um 
just oof, but yeah. Metro looks very great, but scavenger fighting geometry makes it slightly annoying. Yeah, like, I do like some of the subterranean. I do like the trains. Um, I do like the how it seems like we're working through the big machinery, but like, it's so dark. Like, it's hard for me to really appreciate subter most of subterranean because it's just so dark. Um, but yeah, that's random Drecky stunlock. What were we doing? We are going to outskirts because I want to get a mole lizard. And the easiest way I know that is subterranean. And I can get to subterranean from drainage through outskirts. So we're going to do that. Oh, oh what? How is that pulp? The fuck? How's that popcorn plant pre-popped? That's annoying. I do think shaded does have like. If you take away the spooky darkness and the spiders, the Shaded does have really interesting geometry. There are a couple rooms that I really don't like traversing. Um, there's like a certain spider death room in particular I really hate because like if you fall down into it, you have to go into a really annoying path to get back up and not succumb to spider hell. Um, I don't like that. No, I feel like it's like a room designed for punishment and I don't I don't know I don't really like that so much that's a drop wig that is a drop wig oh oh what the f where the f where are you going motherfucker where are you fucking going oh 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 you think you think I'm about to think I'm about to fuck you Fuck you, Dropwig! Fuck off! Where's my spear? Where's my spear? Where'd my spear go? Where'd my spear go? There's no way I threw it into the wall, is there? I can't believe- like, I- ugh, fuck me. I fucking spent too long taunting it. Alright, you know what? I see a backup spear. Part of shade that- you like the big- big ones? Ugh. Monster. Ah, it's protected. All right. Fuck. Fuck you. Get speared, nerd. Get speared, nerd. Get speared, nerd. I don't even care if it's not for a food quest. Hashtag worth. Oh, now, why do we have danger? Why do we have danger music now? So I've done um, Survivor and Hunter, and then when I got DLC, I've been working through them chronologically. So I've done Spearmaster, Artificer, and we just started Gourmand today. Thank you for asking. I definitely like going into them blind, as blind as I can. You know, I've passively learned a couple things about various slug cats, like, you know, the whole that there is a food quest, although the fact that there's like a tracker means it would have been pretty hard for me to not notice it. All right, I guess we need to fucking use a spear to climb. Hate that for me. Oh, all right, fine. I'll stop jumping around until he's rested. Um. I have also done some Survivor 100% speedrunning, because I, like, I've been liking Rain World, and it's kind of got me doing some speedrunning. Alright, that's a weird lag, but, alright. <gasps> we have a slug pup! Hey, buddy! I need food. Ah! Um, sorry, buddy. All right, he probably doesn't like us. Um, I 
I want to combine the Karma Flower with this bat! Well, that's useless. Uh, wait, there's blue fruit in this zone. Hit by a spitter spider twice, but you pin them to the wall. Nice! Welcome on bo- ooh, 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 ooh. Snake station? Snakes? Hey! Welcome on by Snake Station. Hey, Ausland, Snake Station. Dark Dragon, Fufino. Thanks for making room in the Ziggurat. I hope you enjoy your time. Hello, if you don't know me, I am Drekki Ormer. I am a Draconic Serpent, a Flightless Dragon, or simply a worm on the internet. Oh, welcome Six Inch Finch as well to the Ziggurat, and Phonix, and Aus Ausland. Oh, it's bloody hell. Um, welcome on by. What were you doing? Oh, you're playing Control! Oh, I hope you've been enjoying that game. I don't know how far you've gotten through it. I've seen you playing it now and then. Um, I feel like you might be in the mid-game, end-game. Welcome to the Ziggurat, Dark Dragon. And Gaming Teal. Holy fucking shit. Hey, if y'all don't know Snake Station, they are an amazing, amazing Serpentine streamer as well. They have a really fun 3D model. They have great redeems that are absolutely hilarious. Um, if you have not seen them, engage in their shenanigans. Um, if you somehow arrived here from his raid and are not following him, like, you you really should fix that. Um, and you know what? I made this really easy for you. There's a, There should be like a little button right there. You just click on that and uh, you'll be following him. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, I don't know how long you're playing Control, but streaming is very hard work. Um, I'm barely starting, so I'm gonna be getting up to a good bit of shenanigans. But you, you take a break, you know, go leave a piss, go take a water. Uh, preferably, you know, get your water from someplace different than you just piss, but I'm not your keeper, you do you. Cool avatar, thank you! Um, I did not make this myself, this was made by Shadow Fox. Um, her, her link to her Twitter or whatnot should be in my about thing of thing a jig. I give, I love to give credit to all the amazing artists that have made the shenanigans I put together possible. Um, I do not, I am, I am a novice in doing any kind of art. So I depend on the amazing artists that exist to bring my brain worms to reality. And I think they've done a good job. And I am merely a puppet for their greatness. <laughs> but if you don't know what we're doing, we are playing Rain World. Um, this is actually a DLC character, uh, the Downpour DLC, which added four new slug cats, which is what these creatures are called. It is kind of an open world exploration sort of game. Um, you just kind of drop into it and go. Um, it can be, it can be hard, for sure. Uh, but it's it's a fair kind of hard. Like, it's not, like, Dark Souls kind of hard. But you have to realize, like, there are predators. You are not at the top of the food chain. You know, you gotta, you gotta be a little safe. You know, you gotta think and strategize. And sometimes the best decision is not to fight it at all. And... So, while we're working through um, the DLC, I've done two of them. Uh, Spearmaster and Artificer. And now we're on Gourmand, which is this chonky little boy. Downpour was a mod for the vanilla game? Yes! So, the Rain World um, was in development for a very long time. And it was actually published under Adult Swim, um, which published a bunch of games for some reason. Problem is, is as with any big name developer, um, there was issues with control of the intellectual property with the original creators. Um, so it took a while for that to get sorted out legally. And once it was, uh, Downpour was packaged as an official DLC release. Um, it actually came out, I want to say, February of this year. Um, and the console version should be coming out... Um, I think it's July 17th or July 22nd. Sometime in Juli late July uh, was the last date I noticed. Welcome to the Ziggurat, Go Drexen. I hope you enjoy your time. 
Um, another fun thing about the Slugcats is that all of them, while taking place in the same general area, um, exist in different points of time chronologically. So it's really fascinating to see how the area changes um, across time. Um, get that drop... Get that drop wig! I'm rooting for the green lizard here. I don't think the green lizard won. Nope, nope, there's a drop wig up there. I hate drop wigs. I hate drop wigs. Alright, messed up the angle. Gotta rest a little bit. Um, some of the other things that's really nice about this game. Alright, green lizard won in the end. Um, as a pixel game, like, the background, the music, Beautiful. PC version still has Adult Swim credited. Yeah, I don't know like how it all pans out ultimately legally. Um. Oh, because it's injured, it dropped the drop wig. All right, it's probably gonna lose. Sorry, guy. Um. This is also a really fun game to speed run because slug cats have very interesting movement. Um. Some of the tech I can't really show off because I don't understand Gorman very well. He kind of tires out very easily. So a lot of the stuff I try and do um, exhausts him, which is a dangerous state to be in. Um, but yeah, it's a... Oh, slag me a red lizard. Nope, 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 don't like that. Don't like that at all. Do not like that. <gasps> no, 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 no. Go, 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 We gotta go! Red lizards are uh, basically apex predators. They're very dangerous. Oh, thank you for coming to Ziggurat as I'm dragged in, Haber. Hope you enjoy your time here. Oh, it's full publishing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sort of how it is with kind of how those things be. It kind of sucks that it got... They had to wait so long to even do anything. Um... Hold on. Where where the heck am I going? So if I go... Uh, no, I need to go down. For the place I'm, I'm trying to get to. So, um... Because the game just sort of drops you in, there's not really anything forcing you to go anywhere. Um, although there's sort of a couple important landmarks that are useful to visit. Um, I visited one of them already, and there wasn't much, although it was nice that I could visit her. Um, in Artificer, she was not present, or she was unable to be gotten to for, uh, story reasons. Um, that I won't spoil in case anyone wants to play it blind, play this game blind. Um, but after visiting there, I am now trying to go, uh, to sort of a later game region called Subterranean because the Gourmand has this food quest that I've heard about. Um, I have to eat various things and one of them, and it shows up as little icons and one of them has been showing me a... A uh, mole lizard or a black lizard. Um, lizards come in a variety of colors. They all have different stats, characteristics, mannerisms. So those green lizards, they're absolute tanks. Um, but uh, they can't climb poles. Now that it looks red, but it's actually a pink lizard. That guy, they're weaker, but they can climb poles. Alright, I need this green to come. So that pole right there is a pole plant, a pole mimic. And uh, the, it makes me scream the first few times I found them. Because I, I am a good gamer, I swear. But I am also, at many times, unobservant. Oh, 100% on the full story. Support the game because this guy's cute. Yeah, this... The slug cats are absolutely fucking beautiful. Um, and there's so much amazing art of them. Um, 
There is actually... Do I still have it? Let me check one second. Game... Bam! So, I actually, when I was playing Survivor, um, I think it's almost a month ago now, um, a person by the handle of Chibi Geek actually arted one of the scenes. Um, they basically made me into a slug cat. Um, I think they did a phenomenal job. Uh, I fucking love this. Uh, I love artists. Artists are amazing, and they make the world go round. Um... And I do love Rain World so much that it's kind of gotten me back into uh, speed speed running. I've kind of been running uh, the 100%. 100% Survivor. Because I like 100% categories when they are a reasonable length of time to accomplish. Custom skins? I have not messed with custom skins. I do know they exist. I missed! I don't know why there was danger music. Go ahead and, uh... Yep! I figured, uh, the egg bug would be part of the food quest. Mmm, delicious. I know there's, like, custom colors, but I haven't done more than that. Though it would be nice to... Oh, hey, buddy! Let's, uh, I'm gonna get out of your way now. Wait, no, I wanna get the... Unlock thing real quick. Hold on. Get this. Ah, oh! uh, yes. We unlocked pole plants for sandbox. Yay. Alright. We're just gonna pull... We're just gonna pipe juke this green lizard real quick. So, entities can pass each other in pipes. No problem. So I, uh, it's a very common trick to get the attention of a lizard, and then you just go back and forth through the pipe and juke them like that. One mod with head feathers and scaly bodies. Ooh. I think I've seen some people have like custom of uh, like making the slug cat look like their character. And I think that would be pretty fun to do. Unfortunately, I think, um, for speed running purposes, I wouldn't be able to use it, which was, which kind of sucks. I know the, there is a simple recolor mod that is okay. That's just not enough. Alright, how are we on cycle? We have a good length. Might be able to get to subterranean with this. Um, I'm not super familiar with getting to subterranean through drainage. This is only a recent thing I've learned. Um, because I've been working on a new route for speedrunning that actually uses the outskirts drainage subterranean path. Oh, that was close! He almost bit my booty! Ah. Thankfully, Gourmand can pounce just fine. Alright, we gotta rest for a bit. We're a bit exhausted. And then... There's probably the Axolotl over here. Hopefully it does not muck us up. It did not. No! I went down the wrong pipe. I need to go down the middle pipe. Actually, hold on. Let's... Let's eat the Axolotl. Ah, it's not dead. It's injured, but it's not dead. Mmm. Oh well. We'll just go we'll just move on. Alright. In before I drown on accident. Oh shysta. All right, there we go. Shoom. All right, uh, I want to rest for a second. So one thing to always remember is that um, in this game, simply exiting the water does not refill your breath. Uh, you need to actually give it, give your slug cat a second to catch their breath. 
um, from exiting water. Um, it is a very common way new players drown on accident in some of these watery areas. Is uh, just trying to instantly go in. Um, another very dangerous thing is uh, the jump button. So normally everyone's used to, hey, I'm swimming, I hit the jump button, I get a speed boost. And you do, but it vastly consumes your oxygen supply. So unless you really know what you're doing, you should never hit the jump button while swimming in Rain World. When you're playing Survivor, you never realize it costs more air. Yeah, it is deceptive. And it is, it's not like... It's not like it's the air you would have spent traveling that distance normally. Like, it is a significant chunk of air. Um, you usually want to use it, like, right as you're out the end. So, like, you take advantage of the brief speed boost to get out a little bit faster. Or, um, if you've noticed, like, on turns, I can hit jump and it'll give me, like, a speed boost and I just slide along. Um, it can be useful then as well. All right, I hate this turn right here. This is very dangerous, because Gourmand steers like a drunken boat, and we did it. Alright, so we have one last watery dangerous area. Takes 50% of your remaining air. Yeah, yeah, it is nuts. Also, swimming is very complex. Yeah, because, like, you actually kind of want to wiggle. Like, if you're going left or right, you kind of want to wiggle up and down. Basically, side to side. And it will make you swim faster. I missed. I got the wrong one. All right. Let me catch my breath real quick. Um, water. Water is very important in Rain World and is very interesting and dangerous. All right go through here. Let me go left. And I drowned. Hmm. I don't know if I have enough air to make it to... Eh, I feel like I can. I feel like I can. Well, that lizard just got fucked up. All right, so we need to eat you again. Uh, sorry, not sorry. You... All right, come on back through. Come on back through. Come on back through. Get back here. Ah! I will eat you, egg bug. The only other... The other way I really know would be going through farm arrays. And I really would rather not do that. Because I would have to deal with fucking... Uh... Oh, crab cakes. I need to eat the bug itself, don't I? Yeah. And he took it. Alright, we'll get the egg bug another time. I could try and craft a bubble weed. Because I know it's possible. And would certainly help. Hmm. <laughs> I think I maybe just pressed jump, like, I didn't launch out of that pipe correctly, and I think that ended up eating my stuff. What well, rainbow food item do you think would taste best in real life? Ooh. Hmm. I mean, blue fruit's too easy. You know, it's, it's gonna be like blueberries, basically. Or, man like, I think of them as, like, blueberry-mango hybrids. Sort of thing. Uh, 
Come on, Batfly, I won't hurt. I'll just take a nibble. Just a nibble. Hmm. I feel like the orange goop would actually be interesting to cook with. Um, like, I just feel like you can make something with that orange goop. It would be tasty as all hell. Ooh, I have this thing. All right, so I need... Hmm. So if I put it with a bat, I will eat it. And that's not what I want to do. So I need a non-edible item. So probably a rock. I need to find some more Debris. All right. Debris and this thing become... A beehive. All right. All right. Beehive and some Debris become... Spore. All right. Hate that. Not what I wanted. Rock and spore become beehive. All right. Um, I think that's a circle. I need... I think I need something edible. Or actually, hold on. Let's get one of those mushrooms. See what happens if I combine it with a mushroom. Hmm... I feel like these are like the same class of items that I'm cycling through. Alright, so let's get to this thing. Which is a food item. Hmm. Thankfully the axolotl was not there. Important questions for Gourmand playthrough. Yeah. Cool. I also feel like the beehives... Um, like, I don't think you're gonna get honey out of it, but I do think they would be... Um... Pretty yummy. Not so much like honeycomb, but I do think it would be like a very crunchy... Um, sort of food. Like, um, what am I thinking of? Mmm, what is... Oh, it's gonna drive me nuts until I think of it. Because the mushrooms are super trippy. It's not usually my... Oh, we have the karma flower! Alright. This plus karma flower. This has got to be good. Um, the fuck are you? Is this a pearl? I have no idea what that was, but it was edible. So, fuck me. Um, accidentally got rid of whatever that was. I wonder if it was like an egg bug egg, but I've never seen it in yellow before. Feel like it would be hurt to eat? Nah, I feel like it'd be crunchy. Kind of like, uh, um, I keep thinking like, like the meaty texture of like a portobello mushroom, but less meaty and more, more like substantial. Cause like, it'd be like, I think of it as like crunchy, like honeycomb might be. I haven't actually had honeycomb, but I presume like it's, it's has kind of a, kind of a crunch to it. But instead of having, like, sweetness, it's more of an umami, like, meaty taste. Um, because of the, the insects. Alright, let's try not to die edition 2. Alright, hole in one. Alright, then we go left. Gourmand? Gourmand, please. Please, Gourmand. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Woo! Alright. Okay. Oh, 
that's a not a lot of cycle left. Oh, mm hmm, hmm. I kind of need you to pick it up, buddy. Need you to pick it up, buddy. Need you to pick it up, buddy. All right, let's do some pass full climbs. Ah! Don't you yeet me, Durangar. I still have time. I swear. I messed that up. Oh, not good. Gourmand. I need him to rest before he can do the big wall climbs. Shit. Alright, and then we go down. Starts playing the Sonic Drowning music. Don't you even... Right. Ah. Fuck. Fuck. We are so close. All right. We go down here, and we need to go right. Go right. We go down and left. Down and right. And left. Oh, we are so close. We are so close. Okay, we gotta just get through this gate. I could have rested right there. Drekki. Drekki, if you fucking drown, Drekki. Drekki, you fucking fool. If you fucking drown, Drekki. Uh. Uh. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, the shelter's on the other screen. Even if it fills with water, we can make it. Believe. Believe. Alright. Don't fuck this up, Drecky. Do not fuck this up, Drecky. Do not fuck this up, Drecky. Alright, I didn't fuck it up. I also just realized I am intentionally trying to go and get engage in combat with mole lizards before I glow in the dark. I am not making good decisions. Never gone through drains into the depths, but mostly because you want the two karma bonuses. Ah. You're good, doing guards fine. You you kinda you kinda pre yeah, you kinda you kinda prefaced what exactly it was gonna be. Yeah, so I found this is the route that was used, that's used in like any percent runs. Because um, it's the fastest way from start, from survivor start to the end of the game, to Transcendence. But, um, I've kind of, I right, don't know what happened there, kind of been trying to use it for a new route recently, so I've been trying to get better about learning it. Because um, I might be using it more often. Uh, is this a dead end? This is a dead end! I need to go over here. This is so confusing. Maybe they need to go down here. I'll go on by Sly Rat. Ah! I didn't grab one. Well, at least I can get this thing. What, uh, what magical unlock did we get? Oh! Oh, you unlocked mole lizards! Oh, amazing. I, I, lo I, I love that so much. Uh, it says there's a pole up here for me to grab. Oh, is this a... yeah, that's a wall. Is there something in my hand already? Ah, there was a spear! Drecky, you need that spear! You fool! Don't worry, there are probably spears elsewhere to grab. Alright, I want to eat this. 
I need to make sure I don't eat the full though, because I have to take a bite out of a mole lizard. All right, how do I get? Oh, I need to. I need to go left. I see. I need to go up and then left. Somehow over here. All right, we need to go up higher. Sorry that it's going to be kind of hard to see what's going on. It's just kind of the nature of this region, especially uh, with me coming to it like this. There we go. There's a little gap over here. Is that a spear? That is not a spear. I need a spear row. There's some place to go down. There we go. All right, there are mole lizards abound, but I am unarmed. All right, I need to get to some place with light. So I know what the frick frack's going on. I also need a spear. Stay away. Stay away! Fight over me. Fight over me. Come on. Come on. Fight over me. Alright. Who knew a pitch black maze would not be fun to go through? Yeah. Yeah, and we're kind of doing this on hard mode because there is a thing you can do that will give you a little local light, which makes it much more tolerable. Um, fun thing about those mole lizards, the black lizards, um, they are unable to see, hence being called mole lizards. However, they have, to compensate, they have very good hearing. Did I fall too far again? No. Go down and to the left. Up here. Nothing is up here. I was on the wrong side of that. It didn't help that I, like, threw away my spear. Being a potato. But now this slug cat is armed. All right. Armed and dangerous. I can defend myself. So basically, uh, lizard combat usually works. Is basically you hit, you bap them in the face with a rock, which causes them to flip around and then you spear them um, in their unprotected parts. Um, I don't think the lizard can get me from here. I kind of feel like I just jump and jump, but also it might be up there. I would like to isolate one over here so I can immediately go back to that shelter and leave. I heard something fall. I would like to like make noise to attract one. So you can see its face lighting up like that, that means it heard me. Alright, I'm gonna turn around right here. We're gonna try and utilize this pipe defensively. There's only one direction they can come from. I just need to avoid getting snacked on. Oh, welcome to Ziggurat, little hoats. I hear them crawling around. Love the design. Oh, thank you. No problem lurking. I appreciate all who stop on by. Your time is valuable. I appreciate it. I here get up to shenanigans and hopefully not die. Right, I hear some weirdness going on, but I'm not seeing them. I 
thought they were over here. Is this not connecting? It would have been like right over here. That's fine. This is an even better place for me to fight. No! No, 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 no! We didn't kill it! We didn't kill it! Drecky, Drecky, you're dead. Uh, welcome to the Ziggurat, Violet Anarchy. Oh, mole lizards. It had to be mole lizards. Goman, you are a picky eater, but you have chosen a poor prey to snack on today. We could get you bountiful bushels of blue fruit. Bat flies swarming across the skies. But instead, you wish to eat mole lizards? Absolute fool. What are you even doing? They don't even taste good. You just want them for the novelty? There's a terrible reason to eat mole lizard. Hey, buddy. Blind combat! Blind combat! Blind combat! I'm tired, so I'm not doing much damage. They're going for overkill. Is it dead? No, I don't think I killed it. All right, we mucked that up, but it looks like we have a second one in route. We want that guy to come over here. Hey buddy, hey buddy, you wanna wiggle on through that pipe, huh buddy? I heard someone fall. Oh, this is so dangerous. All right, what do I have in my hand? I got no, 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 no. Where am I? Where am I? <sighs> like, I feel like I would one shot a mole lizard. They do not have a lot of health. The problem is, I need to hit them, not in the head. And for whatever reason, like, I don't know if I'm just getting real bad luck. Because sometimes they don't flip around and you got to hit them with another rock. Um, and it, it just seems like I'm not getting them on their vulnerable side. Oh. Right here, and then we go left. Bad luck with mole lizards. Yeah. Honestly, I really don't like fighting mole lizards, um, which is why um, my survivor 100% route, um, I actually do a trick to kill a caramel lizard, which lets me get the um, dragon slayer passage without having to kill a mole lizard. So in this game, there are passages which are basically achievements. Um, the thing is, is whenever you complete one of them, you get a single-use fast travel to any shelter you've been to before. Um, so it's like, for every passage you complete, you have a fast travel ability. I'm honestly kind of on the fence about that. I do, like, the, the regions and the world is huge. 
So being able to fast travel, I do think, is nice. I don't know how I feel about it being tied to the achievement system. Um, I don't know. It can feel a little bit... Uh, do limiting in some ways. But also, it makes sense to not just always be able to flash travel anywhere, so it's like... Pick your poison, you know? <gasps> Ooh, there's a second spear here. This is perfect. Perfect combat. We just need to attract a mole lizard. Sometimes the tunnel, sometimes they partially flip. Yeah, yeah, I, I do think maybe that space was too tight. I'm hoping it can maybe get some combat here. Where there's plenty of area for them to turn around. I do think we have a couple people coming to the party. Hey, buddy. I think that got him. Uh, where'd he go? Mmm! Mission accomplished. All right, now we need to get back to our shelter and rest to keep our progress. Uh, Drecky, where's the way back? You need to go... There we go. There was like a little lip to it. Hold on, that's too far down, I think. You have to go? No problem. Appreciate you stopping on by. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and a good start to your week. This is the final week of June! And then this year will be over... We'll be halfway over, somehow. Oh! I need to go up. All right, so this is going to be annoying because I need to get out onto like a platform thing. Actually, you know what? I'll just uh, spear the wall and climb up. Perfect. All right, we have a couple options for getting our food. You can see those two little blue things over there. Those give me like two food pips each, so I can just <laughs> slurp those up. Actually, it's more of like a pop crunch crunch sort of situation, but you know, it's, you get the idea. Do a bit of alley-oop. Gotta crack it open and get the delicious insides. Basically like a peanut, how I think of them. Like, very huge walnuts. Alright, and now we go up. We get uppies. And with mole lizard accomplished, I'm actually going to use one of those passages I was talking about. And we are going to get the frick frack out of here without going back through drainage, because I don't even think I can go the other way to get out. All right. Remember, there is a weird area. Right, and you go further right. Climb up this. We go left. All right, that's how we get up there. Go through these rocks. Might as well as eat the full. And then we rest at the shelter. And we got our mole lizards. Heck yeah. All right, welcome on back. 
Um, I just noticed somehow we got Chieftain Progress. So that's... Interesting. But we are going to use our passage. What's also nice is each of the passages has a, like, picture with it. So we get a, we get a short little cutscene kind of thing. But we want to go to... Um... Industrial complex. Well, I actually find it kind of simple. I'm trying to think of stuff to eat. And if I'm missing anything. I know there's centipede. You know what? Yeah. Go to industrial complex. Um, yes. There are blue, pink, and camel. Well, hold on. What's that symbol? I have no fucking clue what food it's telling me to go eat. Yeah, let's eat a karma flower. Why not? At worst, it'll, uh... At worst, there'll be something available. I can suicide to spawn the Karma Flower and use it for crafting. Alright. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You wanna, you wanna come on down here, buddy? Come on down here. Huh? Where are you going? Come on. Come on. Huh, nothing for a pink lizard. That's so weird that it wanted me to specifically get a mole lizard. But it seems like other lizards are... not necessary. I still need to kill them for... <clears throat> Dragon Slayer. So I'm gonna still do that. Hey, buddy. No, I only want to fight one at a time. Go, 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 go. Oh, buddy. Oh, that was so lucky. Oh, that was so lucky. There just happened to be a rock right there for me to use. Oh, that blue lizard isn't even dead? Are you kidding me? No shot. Alright, he's injured. He can let go of me. Ah! The suck cat's free again! Alright, buddy. Come on! It overlapping heads! Oh, come on. Fight over me. Come on, buddy. Come on, Pink. You can get to him. I believe. I believe! Oh, I did kill that blue. There was a third blue lizard. Wow. Slag me, I guess. All right, so what I'm waiting for is him to run into another lizard and they fight over me so I can survive.
Oh, I didn't realize he dropped me. I wasn't paying attention. So he must be injured. All right. All right, that's good. Aha! You're weak, blue lizard! Weak! That is a lot of lizards. Hmm. I no longer have any weapons. I would like to arm myself. I'd also like to chew on that blue lizard. Just in case it gives me progress. Pink having a little trouble phasing through the blue lizard. Alright. We got our spear back. Alright, we have a good amount of food. Where are we on time? Mm, decently long cycle. No idea what the hell the food quest wants me to eat. That's great. Ooh, a cyan! Hey, buddy! Oh, a red. We need to get that red. Stop spitting on me! disgusting. Actually, it'd, been really, it'd be really funny if I could just, if I just like dropped on top of that red. Oh, hey! That's the first time I've made it up there without using a spear. Ah, cyan! No shot. Ow. Fight over me. Save me, scavs. Save me. Ah. We went so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. We were eaten by a cyan. Lop. All right, that's some bad luck. That's okay. We did not lose much progress. Oh. Ah, why is it that sometimes he nooms, but other times, oh, he's exhausted, that's why. Fucker. Alright, I need to go find my spear. There it is. I hate that I need two hands to eat a, uh... Take a bite out of a, uh, lizard. Especially because, like, if it's not actually dead and it's just stunned, I don't know until after I've dropped my friggin' uh, spear, disarmed myself. Whee! Hello, bat flies. Alright. I kind of want to see if I can drop onto that red and kill it. But we also need that green to be out of the way. That red is freaking out, man. I need you and the green to fight it out, okay? Oh, a blue. Alright, two spears is actually really good. We might be able to set up... I've never actually killed a red. Uh, honestly. But I think if I can... 
maybe drop on it and have two spears to like constantly double spear it. It could be possible! Where the frick frack am I? Why was there a blue? Wait. What? Ow. 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 Oh no, I'm, I'm dead dead. I'm super dead. You know, I love cyans. They're my favorite lizard, but sometimes they just... Just off screen. Yeet. And uh, you're gone. They just fling themselves at you from off screen and just take you out in one big chomp. <laughs> oh, but they're such lovable goofs. I do know there is a Rain World Twitch integration. Um, unfortunately, it's only implemented via channel redeems. So one of the things I've been thinking of is once I've done all the Rain World, and I'll, I'll probably still do various things in Rain World, I might um, see if I can set it up. Because, like, I like Noida and um, Cult of the Lamb, where you can kind of do, like, help, hinder, vote kind of thing. And I want to do that. So I would need to set it up such that it has a, like, it starts a vote and does help or hinder. And then depending on what it picks, it will randomly select, select things that will help or things that will hinder. All right, I don't like that red being right there. I don't think I can fall from high enough to hurt it. Maybe if I can get up on the ledge above. Let me go get that third spear. I think I'm gonna... I think what I'll do is I will try and get to that ledge above and drop down on the red lizard and see if I can uh, do some major damage. Ooh, I almost fell right in front of it. All right. All right, we have a good long cycle. Ooh! All right, we got one hit on the red lizard. It was a snipe of opportunity. Here comes the cyan to party. Alright, hopefully the red sticks around. Ooh, cyans were required. Good to know, good to know. I wonder if we might need to get- No, the red ran away! Because it was injured. I wonder if we might need to get all of- Well, no, because mole lizards are not part of downpour. They're part of the base game. Hmm. Man. I feel like that green is injured. Let's at least try and kill the green. Maybe, maybe green's... Oh, you ran a... You son of a duck. They took all my spears. They took all my spears. All right. We got a camo lizard up there. Come on, dude. Where's my spear? Ah. He's injured. He might drop me. But he's going to run away now. Because camo lizards are a bit of a coward. All right, I'm exhausted. I need to rest a little bit. I can't believe our luck. We injured a red, we injured a green, we injured a camo, and no kill. No kill! Ah. Also, I shouldn't have eaten that blue fruit. <laughs>
We just ruined our, uh, we could have been making hunter progress. Um, alright, I don't know why he's coming back, but I'll take it. I don't have any extra spears, and I need this for combat. I need to get good- Yeah, buddy! Alright, that is good to know that I can do that. That will vastly improve my, um... My runs of this area. I do think it's still kind of faster to, um... Spear and climb because you can like immediately jump, spear, climb up. All right, I don't know what this guy's doing. Hi, caramba! All right. Let's uh, do a bit of pipe juking, because I want to nibble on that camo lizard, just in case. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright. Take a nibble. Alright. Not part of the quest, noted. But, we also need that for... The Dragon Slayer? I have no idea what the food quest... What It's like a... Like a green circle? With like a circle inside of it? Like, what the frickety frackety hell kind of food is that? Like, my first thought is the egg bug, but we... Maybe it is the egg bug, actually. Because I just remember, um, we died and lost our egg bug. I think, it, I think it might be the egg bug, actually. So, hmm. There might be an egg bug spawn in the place I'm... Wait, this is the wrong way. I'm gonna go get centipedes, because those are definitely- actually, you know what? This way works. Centipedes are definitely on the- on the list. So maybe there's an egg bug down there as well. And now we fall, and we fall, and we cry because there's a spear. Never mind. Now we are armed and deadly! Wait, was that thing reacting? Hold on. Let's see if this has an unlock. Nope, has nothing. Alright! Hey, buddy! No way you're still alive. All right, no, it's just tumbling. What? There's no way centipedes are not part of it. No shot. Why the, what? What? Why the heck are centipedes not part of the food quest? What kind of food quest is this? Oh. Well, maybe we'll find a, an egg bug on our way back up. Oh. 
Hmm. Centipedes taste bad. I mean, I'm surprised uh, our guys being so discerning. Um, let's eat this grub, just because I can't remember if I eat one. Alright. Either I have, or it's not part of the quest. <laughs> Fucking Dolly Sid is such a great emote. Puddles is so amazing. Um... Ah, some green on green combat! Cool. Love that for y'all. Hmm. Let's just hurry on by and get out of here. Can greens kill other greens? I mean, they'll fight for territory. But I don't think they'll, like, it's pretty rare that a lizard outright kills another lizard. It is possible. They can. But usually they'll, like, retreat before, like, they'll full-on die. Hmm. Alright, I do want to get back to rest. I feel like the only egg bug I do know is the one at outskirts. I know outskirts, I know in farm arrays. Maybe in pipe yard? Hmm. Maybe I should go to pipe yard. I haven't been very far in there, and I have been meaning to explore it. Other lizards can't kill greens specifically. Um, I think... You may be thinking of... I believe greens are immune to worm grass for some reason. That could be something you're thinking of. Which is a bullshit immunity. 